Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna show you how to install an aftermarket Noctua heatsink into a Dell Precision T3620 workstation. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna do some side-by-side -side game testing to compare the Noctua heatsink versus the stock high-performance heatsink to see how well it performs. These are the stock options for the Precision T3620 heatsinks. The one on the left is the standard heatsink and is normally used with the 65 watt processors. The one on the right is the high performance heatsink and it is normally used with the 91 watt processors. We'll be comparing the high performance heatsink to the Noctua heatsink to see if it's worth the hassle of the aftermarket upgrade. This is the Noctua NH-D9L heatsink that we are featuring for our install and comparison testing. Unfortunately, the first part of the install involves removing the system board. These are the items that we'll be using to attach the heatsink to the system board. The metal mounting bars, thumb screws, and gray spacers will be included in the Noctua accessories. Yes, we are aware that the gray spacers are normally used for the AMD processors, but they work perfectly for this custom install. The bolt included with the Noctua heatsink would not work for this install. So we had to purchase some 3 4 inch metric M3 screws from a local hardware store to complete the install. Before we attach the backplate hardware to the system board, we are going to remove the processor to clean off the old heat paste. Next, we are going to install our metric M3 screws. Now we are going to install our gray spacers and metal mounting bars. Next, we are going to reinstall the system board back into the workstation. Now we are finally ready to apply some heat paste and install the heat sink with fan.
When installing the fan, we want the logo facing towards the back of the chassis to maintain the existing front to back cooling. With the Noctua heatsick installed, we get a fan error in post that requires us to press F1 to boot into Windows. We haven't found a fix for this. Now we are ready to run through some popular PC game titles to compare the temps between the stock high performance heatsink and the Noctua heatsink. After watching the games testing, you can see that the heatsinks perform very similarly for most games. Obviously for the T3620 workstation, it's probably smarter to save the hassle of the custom Noctua heatsink install and use the much easier to install stock high performance heatsink. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.